It's actually now the flu season. As a result, we have been advocating flu vaccination for most of our patients. Regardless of your age, even if you're healthy or with comorbidities, we actually recommend yearly flu immunization. So during this time of pandemic, does flu vaccination help our patients to prevent COVID-19 infection or even to protect them against severe disease? Let's watch this. So if you like my video, please click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so that you'll be notified for any new uploads to come. We all know that a lot of people really don't fully realize the importance of yearly flu shot. We usually advise this to most of our patients on a yearly basis because most of the time, they're really not thinking that they're going to get the flu. Just like people right now after COVID-19 vaccination or even those without vaccination, they continue to be complacent with the fact that they can't see the virus. As a result, they continue to go out with friends, eat with them in outside restaurants, resulting in transmission of this dreaded Delta virus. So you can't really see the flu or the COVID virus flying around. But what we know is that on a yearly basis, there's approximately around 12,000 to 16,000 people who die of flu complications. And to think, flu is a preventable disease. So our goal, therefore, during this COVID-19 pandemic is simply to get as many people healthy or with comorbidities, young or old, to get vaccinated for flu. Why is this so? The sad reality is that only less than 50% of those adults eligible to get flu vaccination do get their annual flu vaccine. We all know that during this COVID-19 pandemic, the flu vaccine will help fight COVID-19 in a very important way. Why? Because it will help prevent our healthcare system from being overwhelmed. What do I mean by this? In this flu season, every time there's a flu season, it is estimated that around 150,000 to 180,000 of our patients will be hospitalized because of complications of this flu virus. And during this time of the COVID-19 pandemic, where there is really a shortage of healthcare workers and that a lot of the medical resources being used to treat flu complications should instead be resorted to be used to take care of this COVID-19 pandemic and its dreaded complications. Since 2019, when the COVID-19 pandemic came about, knowing that this is also a virus, I've been advocating my patients with diabetes and other comorbidities to get their flu shot, believing that this flu vaccination will have a way to help the innate immunity fight off against COVID-19 in whatever way that could help my patients be protected. And true enough, in 2021, in this new data published in the American Journal of Infectious Control, looking at the impact of influenza vaccination on COVID-19 infection rates and severity did indeed show that flu shot can help. In this new study that was recently um, discussed in a European society meeting, showed that flu vaccination can partially protect our patients against some of the severe effects of coronavirus, and that these patients will be more less likely to need an emergency care. The analysis of nearly 75,000 COVID patients found that there was a significant reduction in terms of stroke, deep vein thrombosis or blood clots, and of course, sepsis. Sepsis means COVID-19 virus 
was able to spread through the bloodstream, which is almost always tantamount to death. Likewise, that those patients who had flu shot had fewer admissions to the emergency departments and fewer admissions to the intensive care unit. So what's important, according to the study, is that COVID patients who were not vaccinated against the flu were 45 to 58 percent more likely to have a stroke, 40 percent more likely to have a blood clot, and around 45 percent more likely for the COVID infection to spread to the blood, which is tantamount to ICU and death. They were also more likely to be admitted in the intensive care unit, and they had more frequent visits to the emergency room, clearly showing that flu job really protects against some of the severe effects of COVID-19 infection. Although it isn't exactly known yet how the flu vaccine provides this protection against COVID-19 complications and hospitalization, but most theories speculate that the flu shot may actually boost the innate immune system, meaning the immune system that we are born with that do not protect against one specific illness. It is, however, very important to emphasize that while flu shot do help, we don't say that you only need the flu vaccine, but we absolutely recommend that everyone should get the COVID-19 vaccine. And in no way do I suggest that flu vaccine will now become a substitute to the proper COVID-19 vaccine. What I believe in up to the present time is the best way for us to protect ourselves from COVID is to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Likewise, this flu shot could be used to help provide increased protection in countries like the Philippines where COVID-19 vaccines are still in short supply and over in aid of the ongoing struggle against most people who have been vaccinated and getting breakthrough infections that hopefully with a flu shot, we can prevent more severe complications of COVID-19 infection. Continued promotion, therefore, of the influenza vaccine also has the potential to help the global population to avoid a possible twin epidemic of what we call as a simultaneous outbreak of both flu and, of course, the coronavirus by simply being able to conserve the global healthcare resources by keeping the number of hospitalization for flu under control is one reason to champion the continued efforts to promote influenza vaccination worldwide. One of the common questions that I get from patients is how soon should I get the flu shot? Can I get it together with a COVID-19 vaccine shot? The CDC has already put some guidelines to it. What used to be a 14-day gap is no longer recommended. The CDC, based on extensive experience with non-COVID vaccines, has demonstrated that immunogenicity and adverse event profiles are actually generally similar when vaccines are administered simultaneously or when they are administered alone. So what used to be a 14-day gap is no longer recommended. This recommendation from the CDC was out of abundance of caution and not due to any known immunogenicity concerns. So the question is whether we can simultaneously give it. As such, we now have substantial data collected regarding the safety of COVID-19 currently authorized by the FDA and therefore COVID-19 vaccines and other vaccines can now be simultaneously administered without regard to timing. So if you have a second shot soon, you can anytime get your flu vaccine without regard for timing, protect yourself, give yourself an added protection outside of masking outside of social distancing, specifically on top of COVID vaccination. So for those of you who have been asking me regarding flu vaccination, the timing of the flu vaccination, and whether this will be helpful during this COVID-19 pandemic, I hope this video helps you. With that, thank you very much. See you again soon.